Pat, Adrian and Joel went on holiday to Tunisia and never came back. Only Joel's younger brother Owen survived the horrific terrorist attack at a tourist hotel in 2015. Susie and Owen from Wensbury in the West Midlands lost the closest people to them. They'd been there 12 hours. They arrived the night before and they were killed that morning. And it's just... Some days I just can't take it in. This would have devastated any family, but Susie wanted something positive to come out of it and set up her charity Smile for Joel. She helps individuals or families who've been bereaved because of murder or manslaughter. The young lad that gets stabbed at the weekend, his family's not going to have the support that we had and we felt that we needed to pay it forward for in my family's name. To have somebody murdered, you know, to have a loved one taken, it's just a different feeling and we knew that we could reach out to those families and help them and just give them a hug and tell them, you know what, you're not on your own, we want to help you and this is how we can. Susie offers practical help like paying bills, but she also wants to put smiles back on faces that thought they may never smile again. To each family has a different need. It could be from buying school uniforms, for buying bikes, Christmas presents, uh, paying for ther therapy, paying for um, short break holidays in this country. It's whatever that family needs. The people Susie helps are referred to her by victim support. Many of the people we support are heartbroken, traumatised, they can't see the good anymore, their whole world's been turned upside down. For Smile for Joel to still be the good side of, of an awful situation, to be able to make donations for the things that we can't fund, to so the smiles, things that will help families to start recovering and rebuilding their lives. Owen is at Susie's side at many of the events she organises for Smile for Joel. He knows only too well the huge hole they have in their lives. Three people who should be here, Joel, Aid and Grandad, aren't here. Um, and so for us personally, any time anything happens, so if you get results from an exam for me or um, you get a new job or something, the first people you want to tell is Joel, Aid and Grandad. Um, and it's heartbreaking that you can't do that. Owen's now at the same university his brother went to, but he's still mum's number one fan. But the way that she's been able to inspire so many people to still support the charity and just help so many other people through such a horrible thing um, certainly inspires me every single day and I'm sure it inspires a lot of other people. So far this year, £20,000 has been spent on making smiles for Joel. Susie doesn't actually meet the people she helps, but knowing they've benefited from all her efforts is a huge comfort. Jane Hesketh, ITV News, Wensbury.